Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so example two here, and I'm not a big fan of word problems because like I like math and algebra, but yeah, it's actually important that we do uh, a word problem of this sort uh, on the mean value theorem. So here it is. Um, you can hopefully read, so read it. But yeah, basically uh, a car's traveling, meaning velocity is this at nine, and then at 9.15, the velocity is this, and what we have to do is use the mean value theorem to show that uh, between 9 and 9.15, the car was accelerating, meaning the derivative of velocity was 24 miles per hour squared. Uh, notice that um, acceleration is measured in miles per hour squared, and then velocity is measured in miles per hour, but uh, the difference uh, between the two times is given in minutes, which we'll have to convert to hours so that our units work out, right? But yeah. Um, the average velocity would be like velocity at 915 minus velocity at 9 divided by 915 minus 9. So this is like f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a, right? This is um, the slope of the secant line. And uh, if we simplify this first, plug in the given information. And uh, next, uh, notice the 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So we use that and um, simplify, right? And if we do then we're going to get 24 miles per hour squared. We have miles per hour in the numerator divided by hour. That's per hour per hour or per hour squared, right? Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, this here, 24 miles per hour, which is uh, the average velocity between 9 and uh, 9.15, has to equal um, F prime of C, which in this case would be V prime of C, um, and so the acceleration for some point uh, C, which in this case would be sometimes C between 9 and 9.15 as desired or as required rather. Yeah. Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this. And example three is super interesting. So keep watching. Take care.